Samuel Frimpon, a teacher at Community Development Technical Institute, Kwamo. I am the coach for STEM Innovation 2022. Our project is all about a traffic light for zebra crossing, which has been programmed and powered with solar energy. This project is because we identify a very peculiar problem in our community here. That is our zebra crossings. The zebra crossing is supposed to be a safe place for pedestrians to cross the road safely. But in our case, it's not like that. It has rather tend to be a dead trap. Cars has been knocking school, children, pregnant women, the aged, as well as market people here every day. This is as a result of the bad practices of some drivers. Whenever they are here, instead of them to stop to allow the pedestrians to cross safely, no, they rather speed up because they want to steal the priority from the pedestrians rather for them to pass fast. And as a result of that, there has been an accident every now and then here at the crossing point. And this is why we have come with the innovative idea for this project. So we believe that this is almost like a nationwide issue. And for that matter, we want to humbly propose our project to the government of Ghana through the Ministry of uh, Roads and Highways so we can eliminate this nationwide problem of accidents on our zebra uh, crossings from the country. Thank you very much. I'm Prince Ousu. Um, our project is special design traffic light, which is programmed and powered with solar energy. So here's the battery. So the solar panel will charge the battery and the battery will power the circuit board. And the circuit board contains a microcontroller, sensors, LEDs, etc. So here's how they work. The sensor will sense, here's the sensor. It will sense the pedestrian. Then after sensing the pedestrian, it will come back to the microcontroller, which is the Arduino, to control the LEDs. So the Arduino will control any LEDs in this project, this traffic light. So the Arduino will turn the LED, which is facing the car, which is controlling the cars, to yellow, which is getting ready to stop for the pedestrian to go for five seconds. Then it will turn on the red LED for the cars, the one controlling the cars. And it will turn the green that will control the pedestrians for the pedestrians to go and the cars to stop. So the pedestrians have only 20 seconds. Have 20 seconds to pass. So after the 20 seconds, the green LED that is controlling the cars will turn on back for the cars to go. So the sensor will send another pedestrian, then it will work in process like how I described it. Ahazi Philip Dela is my name, and I want to talk about the indigenous material used for our project. And that's uh, our PVC, we have the uh, PVC pipes, and also LEDs, we have our solar panel here, the batteries, and we have our cables for the circuit, and also we have our circuit board itself, I mean the engine of the project. And also we have uh, our laptop here, which is used for the programming and the coding. 